Hello, I'm David Teston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news the Cypriot Parliament has rejected the EU IMF bailout deal. Alternate haircut arrangements were floated, especially one where accounts of less than €20,000 would, would face no levy, and those above would face a higher haircut. But in the end, the rejection was overwhelming. At the same time, there are reports the Cypriots are turning towards Moscow, seeking alternative funds. The bottom line is that the EU and IMF have made a complete shambles of the situation, totally underestimating the impact of what they want to impose. Some are even calling it blackmail. Everyone is scrambling to respond to a situation that has spun out of control, something that will get worse after this parliamentary rejection. But in the end, it is Iceland redux, a consequence of a banking system far bigger than the country's GDP. In this case, its exposure to Greece has sunk it. In the US, February building permits were strong, as strong as expected, climbing to the highest level in over five years. January's data was revised higher too. This activity will go a long way to overcoming the US federal budget cutbacks and may well signal a continuation of the US economic recovery in the first quarter of 2013. China's foreign direct investment rose for the first time in nine months in February, a sign confidence in the world's second largest economy is improving and optimism growth will keep rebounding. Gold has resumed its climb and is now at 1610 US dollars an ounce. US oil, on the other hand, has fallen nearly $2 a barrel on the day. And concern about the fate of the bailout in Cyprus has made investors in Europe and on Wall Street very wary. The Dow is down 0.3% in midday trade. Today we get to learn the size of our current account deficit in the final 2012 quarter. Anything different to 4.7 to 4.9% of GDP will surprise the market and that will show up in our exchange rate. But we're starting the day with very strong dairy prices. Today's Fonterra auction was up 14.8% on the previous one, which itself was up over at 10%. Dairy prices have risen 25% in a month, up 30% in New Zealand dollar terms. Volumes sold were at the low end, however, and likely to stay that way until we recover from the drought. The Kiwi dollar starts today basically unchanged at 82.3 US cents, 79.5 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 75.9. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.